Hello and welcome to another session on change management. I'm Safiul Lashinwari. Dear students, in this lecture session, we're going to talk about what is plan change. And also we will discuss a four phases of the plan change, which was suggested by the buttons and block. The two uh, experts that they have suggested a model for a plan change. So uh, through this lecture, we're going to discuss that model as well. At first, let's talk about what is a plan change. A plan change is also regarded as the developmental change. Why we call it a developmental change? Because whenever the organizations want to develop their current processes or their current operations, or the organizations want to develop furthermore uh, in future. So they are applying the plan change. That's why we can say that plan change is regarded as developmental change. Yani plan change ama developmental change ham gufta me tanem. Chara ke idarat zamane ke me khaya ke develop karen current operations, amaliyat ya karhai khuda ya performance khuda develop karen as a khatar ya plan me karen ba change. That's why we call it a plan change. So, plan change can occur due to two reasons or two factors. One, the internal factors of the organization, which includes employees, uh, the, you know, the, the, the structure of the organization, the strategies of the organization, and also the, the, the plan change may occur due to the external factors. External factors include competitors, customers, regularity agencies, economical issues, government laws, rules and regulations. For example, while the competitors, they are bringing change in their product or services, or they are bringing change in their prices, or they are adopting the new technologies, so automatically, those factors, uh, you know, uh, like, like, you know, can be the reason that the other businesses, they also have to improve themselves and bring a change in order to compete well and in order to have, you know, a competitive advantage in the business. We can give the example of the customers. The customer preferences, they are changing. Their, their you know, preferences or their behavior is changing. So those changes should be adopted by the organization and time to time the organization should study and research about customers, about their uh, preferences, about, you know, the values uh, that it should be, it should be, you know, learned about. Idara da maurudi customers hamisha bait maulumat tarsta basha. Wa zamani ki maulumat khuda badas meana da maurudi zwa kiaz bait yak plan change dosta basha. Yani yak taghir bait warid shawa. So we can say that plan change is implemented by the organizations in order to improve the present ways of operations. Yani, zamani ki idara me khaya ki tariqi operations ya productions ya amaliyati fili khuda taghir bata. Bakhotari ki, they want to achieve a predefined goals and objectives. Chara idara me khaya ki operations khuda improve me khana, performance khuda improve me khana. They have, you know, some goals, some objectives, and they want to achieve those goals and objectives in future. So for achieving your goals and your objectives, you need to have, you know, a plan. So that change you want to bring, that's called a plan change. So plan change is calculated and it's not threatening. خو گفتم میشه که پلان چینج ای زیاد خطرناک نمی باشه چرا که از از اول محاسبه شده it means the plan change is always measured so it's all aspects are measured the risk is measured the benefit is measured so that's why it's not that threatening uh, and also why organizations adopt this change because the organization wants to move from the current state into a future desirable state the introduction of the employees welfare measures changes all right what can be included in plan change? The plan change ma kudom nukata metanim include kinim. Employee welfare measures. Yale ba khatir behboodi employees. The organization want to bring some changes. And those changes will be planned. Either changes in incentive system. The imtiazati karmandha change mea 
it means increasing de in, in decreasing salaries. So maybe the organization want to increase the salaries or maybe decrease the salaries. So for, for you know, managing that process to bring a change in the incentive system, idara a change as our plan maker. Introduction of the new products. It means a business organizations want to introduce current products to the current market or either introducing the current products to a new market. Why? Because business wants to grow. Business wants to develop more and improve more on their market shares, improve their sales and their profitability. So this change is also called a plan change. market zarurat tara ke bait da maurid market information dashta basha and information kas ba asas marketing management team yo metana ki information as external environment bigira ki kodam tawlid ha fail and demand dar the industry wa customers wo result prefer makera so zamane ki information krifta mesha ba khater product planning mesha product design mesha develop mesha Pricing zero in the home mesha. So it tamam e poroza kias under the plan change consider mesha. Or technologies. It means while the organization is changing, you know, the technologies or adopting the newer technologies. So that that change can also uh, be like like uh, included, uh, like uh, like under the heading of the plan change. Technologies improve mesha. Chalo ke mama mesha me form ke. Technologies in businesses they have a strong relation. So whenever the technologies are changing, the technologies are enhancing and developing, uh, the organizations, they have to adopt those developments. So organization technology never adopt. So they have to plan for that. They have to they have to bring a change. Wow change case who as our plan mission. Organizational restructuring. It means the organization wants to restructure, you know, themselves. Uh, either by you know uh, creating some more jobs in some more vacancies or either by downsizing eliminating or reducing the number of employees either by uh, you know giving more responsibilities uh, to the levels of management either you know changing uh, the jobs or rotating you know uh, employees from one to another job so it tamam taghirat the structure of organization warid mesha wa barazi barazi taghir bait idara ek plan jor kana so that's called a plan change Team building, enhancing employee communication. So, organization wants their employees to work as a network and always have strong ties and relations with each other. So, for building their relationship, organization have to make some strategies and to bring, you know, a kind of change. plan change Or maybe technical expertise fall under the category of the plan change. So let's move on and discuss further about you know the four phases of the plan change, a model which suggested by the two experts uh, in organizational development. This is you know the four stages or the four phases or a model uh, which includes the four phases for a plan change. Exploration stage, verify the need for a change. This is the first or initial stage where a change should be verified why the organization should bring the change or what is the need for a change second stage planning actions sequences into change plan it means the actions should be planned that what are the actions to be taken or uh, to be implemented in order to bring the change third action stage now the actions which were earlier planned should be put into uh, the actions it means the implementation stage uh, so in this stage the feedback should be checked if you know things are going well so that's good if things are not going according to the planning so the organization need to replan or change the plan and just you know make uh, like like you know another plan for it last stage is the integration stage as the word suggests integrate combine Al aligning with other business areas so uh, the model that earlier we just you know briefly talked about, that model was designed or you know created by Block and Batten. They have uh, you know reached uh, to 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 deliver or to create such a such a model, which is used you know by organizations, 
by business organizations, uh, you know, uh, uh, in order to bring a change. So they have they have they have reached or you know arrived uh, to the stage to design this model after discussing or analyzing thirty models of change. Yani, zamani ki yomi khas tan ki e model a design kona, kabla ki model design kona wa ya e model a daryoft kona. So they have studied you know thirty different models of change management. C models e mutafawat e change management tawa analyze kadan tahlil kadan and finally. They have reached. They have arrived to a stage where they have, you know, suggested and uh, crafted, you know, their own four-phase model of the program change, which is called also plan change, uh, which can be applied, you know, by the organizations uh, at, you know, at uh, almost any circumstances. Uh, and also, this model is considered quite quite useful because, you know, this model, you know, provides the four stages which are distinguishing, you know, the first and second, third and fourth. All these stages are just, you know, presenting the distinguished processes of the change. So let's talk about, you know, uh, those four stages, you know, in further detail. At first, it comes the exploration stage. In this stage, the organization should explore information about the change. And that information should be based for decision. That why the organization should bring the change and what is the need for change. Second, explore and decide on the need for change. So here again, you know, uh, it will be discussed uh, that why the organization should adopt and bring the change and the decision should be made regarding the change. Identify what changes are required. So here it should be more specified by the organizations uh, to select and to make a list of the changes which are required uh, to be introduced by the organization. For example, an organization wants to introduce a new product to the market. So now introducing a new product to the market is a change that the organization wants to bring. It means targeting a new segment. So it should be it should be just you know identified that you know what are the changes that the organizations are going to adopt. Identify resources required. One of the most essential or substantial point for bringing change is the resource the availability of the resource because change needs resources without resources it's impossible or very difficult to bring a change for example an organization wants to adopt a technological uh, change it means wants to improve you know its technology or wants to improve you know its production the way it produces right now they want to improve on that production operations so now for adopting you know a technological change in the organization they need to have resources without resources it's difficult to adopt a change coming down to the to the planning phase after the changes are identified and also all members of the organization they have agreed or decided that the change uh, should be brought or implemented now we're going to make a plan it means it's important to have you know plan how to bring the change, and when to bring the change, and who will bring the change, what will be the change, what will be the objectives and goals of those changes. So all these things should be planned in the planning phase. This is the phase about understanding the problem. It means the problem should be diagnosed. That what is the root cause that you know organization is going to bring a change for it. So that root cause should be identified. In the Planning stage organization also should clarify goals and objectives. In Idara, Badajiki Moshkela Tashkiskat, in a Moshkil Poydosho, Moshkil the Injetana Bamana in his cure travel as your problem as in a Bamana need us. Kidora need you for the Fahmit, Kini need us, Kibati Tahir or Dashawa, but clarify goals and objectives. All our goals or objectives were Adaf for the guest ham. Clarify kana. Yani idara chi ahdaf dara, chi goals dara. Ki me khaya ki ura badas piara wa ura achieve kana. Badasi ki tagir warish shaw. Ubaid identify shaw, ubaid mushakhas shaw, malum shaw. Identify specific activities required to undertake change. It means now for achieving your goals and your objectives, for introducing a successful plan, uh, a, a successful change. Idara zarrat dara ki utamam activities abad. Identify kana, moshakhas kana, ki kodam faalat ha baid anjam dada shawa ta ki taghir warad shawa. 
For example, uh, organization wants to introduce a new product to the market. So now for introducing a new product to the market, what activities uh, uh, organization required to, uh, to undertake in order to bring the change? First, organization, the marketing department of the organization have to conduct a market research. After finding information through the market research, the organization will come to know that what sort of product or service the customers are required and they have to produce. After that, you know, the information should be given to the engineering department, which is responsible for making, you know, the design of the product. After it's designed, so it should be uh, submitted to the production department. So now the production department need to produce, but before, you know, it goes to the production department. So the procurement, the procure department needs to, to, to make, you know, uh, sure that all the resources which are, which are needed for producing a new product is available. So, Balajika's production department, uh, the actions may have. You buy the product, design, jor kana. Balajika's, again, you know, the marketing, uh, you know, department uh, will just, you know, come into action. Wa bai pas promotional or advertisement activities apai plan kana. So, it tamma mi kar hai ke anjam dada mi shi bai identify shaw was specified shaw. Agree changes with stakeholders. Before we talk about that, so what stakeholders? Stakeholders are normally the parties or people who have direct or indirect relation to the organization. Agree changes with stakeholders means what? تغییرات کے وارد میشہ دا مورد او تغییرات باید امرائی سٹیکھولڈرز موافقہ شوا یعنی امرائی سٹیکھولڈرز کیاز باید ای چینج شریک شوا و موافقہ و نظریات او باید دا مورد ای چینج گرفتہ شوا ایڈنٹیفائی سپورٹس ریکوائی تو انیبل چینج تو اکر ایٹ مینز فور برنگنگ ای چینج ان ارگنائزیشن وٹ سورف سپورٹس ایز نیڈیڈ فور دا چینج قدام تغییر کے وارد میں شاید بہت تغییر چینہ و حمایہ ضرورت ہے حمایہ مالیز یا ہیومن سپورٹ ضرورت ہے او باید ایڈنٹیفائی شاید فور اگزامپل ایٹ مینز لیٹ می میکن مور کلیر ہو وانس ٹو برنگ دس چینج شوڈ بی ایڈنٹیفائیڈ وٹ آر دی ریسورسز فار دی چینج شوڈ بی ایڈنٹیفائیڈ ہو آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ایفیکٹڈ بائی دس چینج شوڈ بی ایڈنٹیفائیڈ سو دیز آل تھنگس شوڈ بی ایڈنٹیفائیڈ ان آرڈر ٹو برنگ دی چینج Coming to the action phase, in action stage, uh, as the name implies and suggests, this is the time where the plan activities are put uh, in, into action. It means, you know, it's the stage of implementation. Changes identified are agreed and implemented. The more the tagirat ke idara mein khos ki u tagirat baid warish shawa, u plan change baid warish shawa, u identify shud, and now this is the time to implement that change according to the plan to uh, according to the way it it was planned support for change is obvious as we mentioned earlier that what what sort of support is needed for the change that should be you know like 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 obvious to everybody changes are uh, monitored and evaluated all right so uh, while the organizations they are implementing you know a plan change it needs a process so now that process of the change or implementation should be monitored why the why why it should be monitored because the organizations have already planned the change and they have already selected their goals and targets so now while you know the the team is monitoring the change they are looking whether the change is occurring according to the way it was planned or not whether the change is going in the direction that the organization planned or not whether the change is moving towards the goals and objectives of the organization or not if it's going you know the way it was planned good and well but if it's not going you know the way it was planned so definitely some adjustments some changes should be made and evaluate uh, see the results see the outcome whether you know it is producing the results or not results are communicated and acted upon the results which are you know like like you know uh, appeared or the result came from the change uh, that should be communicated to all parties and acted upon Adjustments and refinements are made where necessary. If there is a need for, you know, bringing, uh, like, like, you know, a change uh, in the process, you know, zamane ki taghir warad mecha, aga dao taghir kodam adjustment zarurat as. You know, feelan ki kodam shakal u taghir warad mecha, ya implement mecha, wa dao adjustment zarurat as, ki u taghir ba shakal sahi anjam dada na mecha, ya, 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 waqena mecha, 
باید تغییرات صورت پس بگیره تا که او چینج در دایرکشن صحیح موف کنه کمینگ ڈاؤن تو دا لاسٹ سٹیج آف دا یو نو پلان چینج ماڈل دس دا انٹیگریشن فیز سو دا ورک کلیئرلی سجیسٹ انٹیگریٹ مینس کمبائننگ اور امبیڈنگ یعنی تغیری کی ادارہ آورت ای تغیر عالم رائے کلچر ارگنائزیشن باید امبیڈ سا It should be combined with the organization. It means the organization should now move on uh, with the change. So the, this change should be stabilized. And also uh, the change should be supported by all parties that, you know, who were affected by the change. Results and outcomes from the change uh, should be communicated throughout the organization. In a kodom taghire ki idara badast awart, ahdaf wa goals ki idara badast awart, azi taghire, wa amre idara و امرای کارمندا و امرای تمام پارٹیز باید کمیونیکیت شوا چرا که داره پلان کده بود از تغییر باید یک یک آوٹکم بعد از بیاره و او آوٹکم باید کمیونیکیت شوا تو دی پارٹیز ان اورڈر تو تو یو نو میک شور دت دی چینج واز ا سکسیسفل پروسس کنٹینوس ڈویلپمنٹ اف امپلائیز ٹریننگ از وی نو ونس یو نو ا چینج اکرڈ ان ارگنائزیشن سو دی چینج ول ڈیفینیٹلی یو نو لائک ٹیک سم اف دی امپلائیز اوٹ اف دیئر یو نو کمفرٹ زون و امیشہ تغییر کے وارد میں شاہ ڈیفنیٹلی چینجز کیس میں تانا کہ امپلائیز بالا امپلائیز تاثیرات داشتا باشا چرا کہ چینج میں تانا کہ یہ امپلائی را از یک وظیفہ بدی گا وظیفہ چینج کنا جاب روٹیشن صورت بھی گرا یا پروموشن صورت میں گرا ڈیموشن صورت میں گرا یا نیو ٹیکنالوجیز اگر دائی دورہ وارد میں شاہ سو دی امپلائیز آر ناٹ فیملیئر ہاو ٹو یوز ان اپلائی اور یو نو آپریٹ نیو ٹیکنالوجی سو فار فار جس یو نو میکنگ شر that the organizations uh, they are adopting the change or integrating the change successfully uh, the change agents the change leaders they have to train and they have to provide education about the uh, change the murid taghir bait barzi training dada shawa wa 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 ya bait educate shawa mana information barjan the murid change dada shawa ongoing monitoring and evaluation wai proza bait hamesha monitor shawa دیده شوا که تغییر به شکل مثبت داره صورت گرفته یا نه این ایوالویت دی ریزلتس و همیشه ندایجش که از باید او اسس شوا ایوالویت شوا و ارزیابی شوا